How to play Gavriel in two minutes. This deck's main winning image focuses on Gavriel, Hamiel, and stacking critical triggers on the ladder. Hamiel, when placed, lets you counter blast one to call a card from your damage zone to rear, then deal yourself a damage. Then Gavriel takes a step further with its skill to counter blast and soul blast, return a card from damage to hand and put one to the bottom of the deck, and then deal yourself two damage, giving yourself more opportunities to hit triggers. When three or more cards were put into your damage zone, Gavriel gives your whole front row 10k which leads into Hamiel's second skill, which closes out games by the cost of Counter Blast 3 to gain 15k, a crit, and stop Sentinel so your opponent can't guard. Other cards that could help you hit triggers are Jalafiel, Salafiel, and Zophiel. Jackfiel, when placed, lets you Counter Blast 1 to gain 3k, return a card from damage to hand, and then take a damage. Salafiel does the same thing but at the cost of Soul Blast, and instead of returning a damage to your hand, it is healed before the check. And finally, Zophiel which one place lets you discard a card to add a card from your damage to hand and then take a damage, helping you recover lost pieces and more opportunities to have Hamiel. Since damage deny is so relevant, Holy Seraph no Seal lets you play around it. One place you could soul blast one to search your deck for a card with no seal on its name, put it into your damage zone, then at the end of turn put a card from your damage zone to the bottom of your deck. This can be used to put yourself temporarily ahead in damage to prevent your opponent from healing or have another damage so you can do your skills. Black Call Nakir and Scaling Angel help us get the cards we need for our plays. On top of gaining 5k if a new card was put into our damage zone, Nakir when placed is a grade 3 searcher and since we run 13, it could help you find the ones you need for whatever situation. Scaling Angel when placed on rear, if your drop zone has a normal unit, you could put a face of grade 2 or less card from your damage zone into soul, then put a normal unit from your drop into damage zone, allowing us to kind of reset our quote second hand. Perdurable Phoenix is a great defensive option for this deck because when your vanguard is attacked, you can retire it and call a card from your damage zone to guardian circle, then put the top card of your deck into your damage zone face down. This effect is perfect for mirror matches and can help you survive with the other guard restriction effects from hand. Our triggers are an aggressive lineup of 12 crit and 4 heal. You could go 16 crit super easily in this deck and is recommended to accelerate game state and maximize effectiveness of your hamiels. With all these images put together, this is our deck list.